Hello friends, welcome to Squared Plans, where creative planning and organization comes to life. I'm Stephanie and today we're going to be setting up the month of November in my catch-all horizontal planner. We'll decorate all of the monthly pages in a seasonal fall theme, so come play with me. And I've got some washi tapes here ready to go, along with some mod liners I'll use, a few die cut leaf stickers, these Dollar Tree stickers I picked up as well. And these Plenty Things sticker books, which I'll pull from. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and start with the monthly layout this month. And I've already done some pre-planning because I really did not know what I wanted to do for the month. I went back and forth on a few different ideas and finally decided on this colorful leaves and quote idea. I did do a leaf theme back in September, so I wasn't really sure if I wanted to do another one, but I do feel like fall is just the best for color and stickers. So I just went ahead and did what I wanted to do, which was more leaves, more fall color. So that's what you're gonna get on this month's theme. That large quote there that's already placed down is from the Dollar Tree. I found a few large quote stickers from there. That used to say thankful one word and I went ahead and just cut it down to say thank and full to fill the empty boxes of the month there at the top and at the bottom. And I think that works out really nice for balance too. To make it a little bit more camouflaged on how abrupt the cut is, I went ahead and loaded up a branch there in the end of the K of thankful. I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with the F there because it is a little bit blunt on the starting point of full. So I'll work on that probably once I get it to the page. But for now, that's how it's set up. And then I went ahead and put another leaf there at the end of the L on full as well. Those outlined leaves came from the Planty Things sticker book from last year. It's, I think, the Autumn Vibes and Leaves sticker book, I believe. I don't think it's available anymore. It was really one of my favorite books. So hopefully, if Amber happens to be watching this video, re-release that. That was a great book. <laughs> What I ended up doing there is adding in just a bit of script washi as a layering piece below those two words and then added in the leaves again, the colorful leaves in a gradient pattern going from yellow to brown across the bottom of the words. I also added in some washi tape with the yellow and the brown tone. I think I'm going to focus in on those two colors for this month and added those in as a layering piece with some more of that script washi. All of the items that are being used here to set up this theme will be below in the description. So if you're looking for something that I'm using here, check the description first. If I can find a link, I will add it to it. And if not, I'll at least list it so you guys can look for it yourselves in case there is some obscure site where you might stumble upon it. So I just went ahead and softened the tip of the brush stroke there on the full. I think it looks a little bit better up close, a little less blunt, and a little bit more like a brush stroke starting point versus, like I said, a, a blunt cut. So I'm liking that. I went ahead and layered over the die cut leaf stickers already and had them going off the bottom of the page. So I went ahead and trimmed those out. I'll probably reuse those pieces on one of the next spreads. So see how that all looks once we get to that point. Now for the top here, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do as far as placement. Uh, on the wax paper, I think I had it covering the day numbers, so I'm working out how best to lay that in where I can get the most visual 
functionality still maintained. Um, I'm also whiting out the lines that I forgot to do there at the bottom. And again, here I'm going to do the same at the top, just so that it looks a little bit cleaner where I'm going to be putting those decor stickers. And like I said, this is a little bit tricky just because I thought maybe I didn't want to cover the numbers of the days, shifting it up a little bit, but the K was getting caught up there on the top, overlapping the top of the page. So it would have been trimmed off and I didn't want that look either. So I'm just trying to figure out the best placement. I use that wax paper to help me since the quote is very finely cut and a little bit thin as far as the sticker thickness. So it does get caught up pretty easily. I wanted to make sure that I got that placement right the first time didn't have to try to adjust or get some major bubbles in it. So I finally got that placed. I'm going to go ahead and clean out the holes now here on the side and just make sure that we can get this into my planner. But that's it. I really love the simple elegant look with those outline leaves. I really love the combination of fall color and then like black quotes. I've used that a couple of times in the past and I just love that look. Feels very, like I said, sophisticated. So we're gonna continue that on. Let's go ahead and set up this next spread. I've got some ideas on what I wanna do here, but I think this will be the best spread to use this additional black quote that says blessed. I was thinking originally to use this in my faith planner, but I think I just kind of want that similar look here, both on the monthly pages so that they all tie together. Again, those stickers are so delicate to the way that they're cut and it's a very thin sticker. So just getting it set on the page is a bit of a challenge, but I got it to work. I'm layering over to a little bit more of that script washi that was left over. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in along with a little bit of the yellow washi as well for some color. Now here is that strip of stickers I cut off the bottom on the monthly. And so I'm just gonna find a home for those. I think I might want to rearrange them though so that the brown is always on the far right and yellow is always on the far left so that everything flows the same way. So I can use the washi tape on specific sides of the page. I have it laid in opposite of what I think I'm gonna end up doing right now. And I'm just trying out some of that script washi again as a layering item, maybe with these leaves. I've placed them at the bottom of my monthly calendar at the bottom of that single month layout there, there's some empty days. I thought that would be a nice place for a little added decor there, specifically those pre-cut pieces since they're very low profile and can take up the whole week without bumping into the functional space. So this layout, if you're new to my channel, is in my Etsy shop. It's called the Month Overview page and I sell it in an undated version without all of the social media additions that I've added to it. So it's a very kind of simple monthly layout dashboard style page, but really handy for me, I found this year and something I'll continue to add to my planners going forward. So I've got that laid in, I added in the brown and rearranged the colors. So again, it kind of has that same flow from brown on the right going towards yellow on the left. And now I'm into those leaf packs again, just kind of seeing what leaves I can bring in here for some more decor and have pulled out a few that I think will work nicely. I also had a few scraps kind of left over, so I thought I would put those to good use there on that one edge. 
And we'll also work in some more of that script washi at some space here in some place here. Trying to kind of get a good balance, mimicking what I had on the other page before, but not exactly. So for this month, I've decided to be a little more freeform with each of my clusters, allowing each to have either leaves, washi, a quote, or all three. I like to mix it up every once in a while. A lot of times when I'm doing spreads, I try to keep all of the clusters having the same elements, but this one I did a little bit more of a free form and I think it worked out. I also kind of forgot about those outlined leaves, so I'm gonna try to pull in a little bit of one here at the end of the blessed word, so that again, it's kind of that same repetition as what I had in the front and ties everything together. So let's go ahead and try to move over that section first here on the right. And I will go ahead and set up the monthly with a nice clean palette there, whiting out the lines in between. So it looks nice and clean there at the bottom. I use a white opaque gel pen to do this whiting out. So again, if you're new to my channel, you've never seen it in one of my videos, I use that pen a lot. It's just a plain Sakura Jelly Roll pen. It will be linked down below as well if you want to take a look at it. But um, just any white gel pen is really great for whiting out lines. I just prefer the Sakura. Okay, so now we're going to try to roll off this quote from the wax paper. And I'm going to shift it a little bit over so that the leaves at the end don't fall off of the page. That worked out really good. Rolling it off made it a lot easier so that I didn't have to finagle that delicate quote <laughs> and really made it a lot cleaner of a transfer. I'm gonna go ahead and white out a few of those checklist boxes at the bottom so that I have again another clean palette to work with for moving over the decor. And while that's drying, I'll go ahead and add in some highlighting that I'm gonna use on this spread. I've highlighted in yellow the habit tracker area just for a little bit more color. And then on the monthly, I've added in a few bullets for tracking my followers and subscribers on social and just used each color, the yellow and the brown to denote which channel I am tracking. Okay, so we're gonna move over that big section now. Go ahead and lay that in. And then trim off the excess at the bottom. And now I have this extra piece. I'm not sure if I wanna lay this in at the top maybe, or maybe somewhere else. I haven't quite decided. See how that looks. Kind of like it there going off the page so all the leaves on this spread are cut with no whole leaves unlike on the front page i'll go ahead and also add in a little bit more of this brown here on this side as more of a highlighting element and add some color to the page I'll also go ahead and pin in the title of my lawn checklist here, which is my monthly to-dos. And since I didn't pencil it in, of course, I made mistakes. <laughs> and so let's go ahead and white those out and clean those up a little bit later. And now I'm back at cleaning out holes and doing some trimming. So I just want to make sure we don't forget about that. <laughs> So many times have I tried to end a video I then can't get the pages in my planner because I forget about this step. So we're just gonna go ahead and do it now that I've seen it and get myself all set up. 
finally we're on to the back page so this is my single page monthly layout i currently have it undated in my shop i'm hoping to bring a dated version before 2024 in case that's something you're looking for but for now this is available as a standalone and i am going to add in some more decor on this page the back page here is actually where i do all of my monthly scheduling i use the two page spread of monthly for memory keeping i do like a memory a day snippet there on each day and i like that better because it's just a little bit bigger for writing in significant memories i guess but here this is the place i keep track of appointments and things that are coming up for the month that i need to be aware of when i'm planning out my week and so i'm going to keep things fairly simple here i think i'm just going to do a little bit of bottom decor again adding in a little bit of that script washi and some leaves in that gradient I don't have another black quote to work with, so that was kind of what led me to just stick with the leaves and the washi here. I've used, I want to say, this pack of leaves at least two or three times on different spreads. So it's gone a long way. There's quite a few leaves in that pack. It's one I picked up during my Amazon and Stationery Pal haul. I got these on Amazon, and they've really served me well this autumn season really love the bright decor and the kind of realistic look so let's go ahead and trim these out see if i can find a place for those but i think i might just save those for a later date Thinking I will go ahead and just use my friction pen this time to set up my dates and appointments for the month. I'm using a 0.38 size tipped pen in black, which is really nice for these smaller writing situations. The rest of the inks on that four color pen are 0.5, but this one here is 0.38 since my other major pen is 0.5 five in black so it's a nice to have a little bit of variation for the smaller spreads so i've added in all of the things from my list and a bit of washi and once i am done with that you guys we will be done friends so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up down below also to go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch and think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, if you'd like to see more of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Bye.